Hello and welcome back everyone to um, the Pokemon Sword 2 player Nuzlocke challenge where last time uh, we got Sobble, Wooloo and Rookie D and I'm not allowed to catch, capture anything else on this route. I believe we went back to heal. It's been, a, it's been like a week since I last recorded. Right, we're playing with only two Pokemon on each team. I forgot that as well. Just getting back to all the rules, you know. Um, fairly sure we shouldn't have much trouble with defeating this trainer. So, okay. I am so not practiced in commentary right now <laughs> since it's been so long. But hey, no problem. So she's sending out a water type Pokemon, if I remember correctly. And I'm sending out a water type Pokemon. So this is just all kinds of not gonna work, isn't it? Uh, I guess we'll just pound on it. Is it water type? It looks water type. I mean, it's a turtle, right? I guess we can test the, uh, the test the water, so to speak. I'm I'm not very good at the new Pokemon, the new generation Pokemon. It's not very effective. Okay, so that basically answers it. It is in fact a water a water turtle. Not to be confused with water turtle. War, war turtle. Um, I'm fairly certain that we shouldn't have much issues here on Route One. Wait, we're on Route 2 now, so Route 1 was not an issue. Route 2, I believe we should have just as few issues on, because, I mean, let's face it, it's Route 2, it's still just a tutorial area. She only has one Pokémon on her, which um, quickly proves to be no problem whatsoever. Only thing is, I will have to go all the way back to heal again if I want to stay safe. I'm not gonna read her dialogue or anything, because it's she's not an important NPC. Um, Wait, there, no more, uh, there is one more trainer. There is, of course, one more trainer in the way. Which means I will be heading back just for safety. Um, to... It looked like there was something hidden there. Hmm. Uh, just for safety in regards to not wanting to lose a Pokemon. Oh, lose a Pokemon. This is a Nostalg after all. It would be pretty bad to lose one already on, on Route 2 after... After... Um, Having said so much about this being an easy route, right? So I'm just avoiding everything right now because I don't want to battle it. The first, uh, the second battle against Hop should not be an issue. And quite honestly, I don't think we'll have much trouble until we get to the wild area. Oh, and um, since I last recorded, I went through and uh, actually I'll show you in a moment. I'm not going to be using any of the stuff that I'm going to show you because um, to 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 sync up with Vox. Vox only got these items when she reached Milo, so I won't be using them myself. But I went in and got all the uh, the event Pokeballs while the event was still online, just so that both uh, Vox and I have a leveled playing field. And I also talked to the NPC with the birthday thing right here. It doesn't affect anything unless I'm still recording this Let's Play at the time where my birthday runs, uh, rolls around, but hey, just figured I might as well get it out of the way. Anyway, back to Route 2. We're going the long way. I'm looking forward to getting my bike because it'll be so much faster skins. Whee, sorry, to get through routes at that point. Although that is way further into the, into the game, so for now let's just enjoy what we have, which is our own two feet and some good shoes. So, next segment is of course um, heading over to the professor's house after we've beaten up another kid. And I can already see Hop just standing there, <laughs> awkwardly staring at the professor's door, wondering if he can be if he can be bothered to go in without me, or if perhaps he should stay there and wait, just for the dramatic effect. So this is a bog type. I'm a water type. This could end badly. I don't expect it to, because let's be honest, the NPCs at this route shouldn't be that tough nor that intelligent. Our struggle bug is... Okay, I forgot that bog types are not uh, good against water. It's grass type. So, no problem whatsoever, because struggle bog is not exactly... <laughs> not exactly that e effective against us, eh? And since he's just lowering my special attack, and I'm just using Pound, Pound on him. I, I don't think he's quite thought this through. Benjamin, 
go back and, and train some more before I start messing with people who are just walking around. Nitvik. Oh, Nicket. Nicket is a dark type. I probably ought to use my use S words a bit, a bit more. Nitwick, Nicket is still just level 5 and Edsworth is level 7, so... Nicket is also level 7. Okay, my bad. Uh, that should be the most... Oh, you're a quick attack? You, you sly fox. Oh, that was a... That was a critical hit. It dealt 3 damage and that was a critical hit. <laughs> I don't think we have a whole lot to worry about here because he's just... He's just taking me down two health every time he hits me. Meanwhile, I'm taking him down one third of his health every time I hit him. And he stopped using quick attack, so... Oh no, Tail Whip, what does it do? It lowers my defense, which theoretically speaking should actually allow him to deal more damage if he starts using quick attack again. But no, instead he's just gonna be done for the count. So that was good. Leveled up Edsworth. Got some Hone Claws on him. Oh no, you lost. I wonder if this guy set up here before or after Hop came by. Eh, it doesn't matter. So we got our Pokemon on Route 2. I'm just checking the sheet, which means that I cannot get anything here, but I can get the item that is over here. A repel. That could actually become useful, which is kind of funny. Don't believe there are any items over here. No. There is fishing though, which this is R2, so. Oh, the two others appeared. I don't remember the voices because it's already been so long. Okay. Well, here's a new set of voices again, I guess. Look, there's the professor. So, have you unraveled all the secrets of the Dynamax phenomenon yet? Oh, goodness, no. The whole thing is still full of questions. I'd hoped that my granddaughter would take over my research, but... Awkward pause. Dear me, I'm sorry. I didn't even notice my guests. My name is Magnolia. Welcome, young trainers. Now come, let's head indoors. Why, Hop dear, I see Wooloo has made some new friends. And you must be Maddie. I trust you received the Pokedex from Sonya. I'm sorry you'll have to complete it. Nope, I'm sure you'll have it complete in no time. You must already know about Dynamaxing, right Maddie? Professor Magnolia has been doing research into the Dynamax phenomenon for years and years. And it takes a proper understanding of the thing if you plan to use Dynamax to its fullest. There, there you go again, Leon. Always talking about Pokemon. There are other things that are worth knowing about. Nope, this is not the hop. Why don't we have why, why don't we have name boxes on these things? There are other things that are worth knowing about too, you know? Like how many different types of tea there are. Hey Professor, do us a favor, would you? Help me convince Lee he should endorse us for the um, gym challenge. Oh, Leon, why wouldn't you endorse them? <laughs> Up Maddie only just started out as Pokemon trainers. There are still loads they don't know yet. Deary, I thought you your dream was to have everyone in the Galar region become stroke trainers. Isn't that right? Well, yeah, you're not wrong. That goes precisely the reason I gave both them both Pokemon, in fact. Hop that pose. Um, I'm assuming this is Magnolia. Right then, in that case, how about this? Let's see if the two of you can show me such a brilliant battle that I'm left with no choice but to endorse you. That's not her, that's, that's Leon. And don't worry, I'll make sure both your teams are in good shape before the battle starts. Thanks for the healing. And that would be Hop. Right, I'll be waiting outside, Maddie. Uh, text boxes without names. The bane of my, dis my desistance? 
my existence. That, that's a lot of books and that's a very per You know what, Sonia? I approve your room choice. Fascinating map over there. Huh. Well, down we go again. There's no items up there, so... I'm assuming now we have to... Oh, actually, can I... Yes, I'm not being stopped. Cool. So we'll go and grab this TM before anything else. I'm, I'm having a hope that some of these TMs will eventually become very useful. Um, just to try and keep the Nuzlocke alive. But you never know. You never know. There might be some Pokémon that uh, could really use them to just buff them up a bit. Others, not as much. A bottle of fresh water. That's a healing item for free. I'll take it. <laughs> At some point they will become very useful as well. Oh, a great ball. Nice. That should help us with catching stuffs and stuffs and more stuffs. Hurry it up, Maddie. You gotta battle me so I can get myself that endorsement. Yeah, yeah, impatient hop. Okay. I'm going to become the greatest Pokemon trainer there is, and to do that, I need that endorsement to take part in the gym challenge. Come at me with everything you have, so we can prove to Lee that we've got what it takes. Actually, I need to prepare. Oh, fine. Uh, I guess I can wait a bit. I just realized he always starts with Wulu. Why would I start with uh, with my water type before th <laughs> against Wulu then? Uh, of course. <clears throat> I'm rather interested in seeing how you two young trainers battle too. Listen you two, the reason I'm unbeatable <laughs> is because I learn from every battle I see and take part in. That's how I got into where I am today. So show me something, so show me something good in ba this battle. It's time for my legend to begin. Yep. The legend of how Hop keeps losing, and losing, and losing, and losing. So, let's get this going. Are you ready for the beatdown? Edsworth, I choose you. Have you gotten a bit stronger? Me and my team will put you to the test and see. Mm, yep, I'm still stronger than you. Uh, 20... 30. That's no point in not just using Peck. We'll Peck off all that wool. It looks so violent with that huge spike. Also, that is a lot of damage. Critical hit? Seriously? What's with the NPCs and critting me right uh, today? Well, we'll just take you down before you can get me. Growl. That lowers my attack. Please don't tell me that's enough for me to not just destroy it now. God damn it! Woo! Well, I'm at half health, it's fine. He only has three, he has three Pokemon. It's Wulu, it's his starter, and it's Rookie D? He does a Rookie D too as well, right? Well, that's a good amount of levels. Okay, Scorbunny. Yes, I will switch to my water because... <laughs> why would I not want the type of answer, eh? Just so I can hear him talk about, oh no, you know about tiny advantages. Yes, Hop, I've known that since the very first time we met and way before that. So, water gun that bunny. Plus I'm two levels above. This should hurt. Yeah. Yeah, that hurt. Well, look at you. Seems like you really learned your type matchups. How a taste of our true power. Our flames are burning bright. I don't think I've seen that comment before. Mainly because why would you use... Well, mainly because I always want to kill him, but also, I don't think I've ever seen him try and use his type attack against a type where it isn't effective. <laughs> That's kind of dumb, Hop. Well, and then just one more. Um, Rookie D. Why? I don't fear him at all. He's so weak. My Rookie D can take your Rookie D. Rookie D, Rookie D, D. I'll stop doing that, don't worry. <laughs> It'll be a close one, but that's exactly my sort of match. So confident. Bird versus bird. <laughs> this is Angry Birds. All oh, right, I could have told my, I could have, uh, I could have made my, my bird carry a berry so that it could heal. Well, not against this, but 
on normal circumstances. Also, he's working decent on level 5. I don't think we have a whole lot to... If he crits now... I'm gonna gamble. If he crits now, I am so done. Oh, okay, he just uses Leer. No worries, you can't crit with that. He'll just lower my defense a bit. Technically, if... If he, had, he hasn't, he doesn't have quick attack because I don't have it. So this is a done deal. There you go. No problem whatsoever. Hop down again. Just like that, the Nuzlocke can, can actually begin for real. Oof, got it that I lost, but I'd expect nothing less from my rival. And I even got my Pokeball throw perfect too. The sting of defeat and the joy of victory. I guess going through both is the key to the two of us getting stronger, right? Hop, you haven't even experienced victory yet. Oh well, whatever. Maddie, Hop, well after seeing a match like that one, I suppose I have little choice but to give you both an endorsement as a champion. <laughs> there you go, and there you go. Yes. Nope, that's not him. That that's that's Hop. Yes! Thanks, Lee. I swear I'm going to win my way through the gym challenge to reach you. You may both be young still and plenty rough around the edges, but it was a proper battle. Charizard and I were both feeling the excitement in every last cell of our bodies. Hop, you always tended to get caught up in things like how you throw your Pokeball out. Things that have nothing to do with real strength. Honestly, I've been worried about you still obsessing over that sort of nonsense, but it seems you really have grown a bit, little brother. And I'd like to see some more thrilling Pokemon battles out of you too, Maddie. Alright, Maddie. You and me are going to train up against one another to aim for the champion title. <laughs> against one another? That's the way of it when you've got a, ri a great rival. Just like you've got me, I've got you. Huh? What's that? It's a wishing star. Although we'll only know that in a moment. Maddie, would you look at this? They're wishing stars. Since there are two of them, you should take one yourself. With one of these, my Pokemon can Dynamax. They're gonna be massive, yes! Uh. Trust you to pull something like this. They say Wishing Stars fall down for those who have a true wish in their heart, you know. I will be the greatest trainer ever. I will be the greatest trainer ever. I will be the greatest trainer ever! There, I've said it three times, so surely my wish will come true now, right? <laughs> Don't be silly, Hop. Those Wishing Stars are composed of a curious sort of rock containing unknown power. They are one of the most precious resources we have here in Galar region. I also believe that I am talking on behalf of the professor at the moment, but never mind. I, I have no idea. Uh, yes, that is Professor McMoney, goddammit. But they won't do a thing in for you in that state. Give them to me now and I'll have you sorted. Ah, right. You've done heaps of research on the Dynamax phenomenon, haven't you, Professor? Then please, give Maddie and me the power to Dynamax our Pokémon. First we got to battle... Nope. That's still Hop. I need to read it before I start switching voices. <laughs> First we got to battle against that mad Pokemon in the slumbering world, and now this? It really feels like we're getting caught up in the adventure of a lifetime. Well, I do understand your excitement, young man, but don't get carried away. You won't you want to save your energy for tomorrow's journey. Seems I came back home right in the time for all the excitement. Hey, you lot, why not have some dinner? You must be hungry, right? I've been totally obsessed with making the latest trendy curries. And just like that, we healed our Pokemon again. Woo! -hoo! Um, It's morning at last, and time for our adventure to truly start. 
Good morning to you, young challengers. Hop, is it true you really met some Pokémon you didn't recognize? Is there anything more you can tell me about it? Uh, well, that was weird, Harry Falk, and then this even weirder Pokémon appeared. Matty tried to fight it off, but... but... Then I think we both passed out or something. It's all pretty hazy. A right found information you are, huh? Mad... That would be Magnolia. <laughs> Maddy, Hob, these are for you. Yay, friendship bracelets! <laughs> Those are your Dynamax bands. I made them by fitting the wishing stars you found last night into those bands. Thanks, Professor, this is brilliant! It's just like the one Lee has on him too. Now we can Dynamax our Pokémon like he does. My word, you don't waste any time, do you? I think you'll find it's not so simple as all that. There are a number of conditions you must meet in uh, if you hope to have a, your Pokémon Dynamax and take on Titanic form. Now, don't be afraid to go to all sorts of places and meet all sorts of Pokémon. That will help you fill your Pokédex too. The legend of my reign is finally about to begin. Oi, come on, Maddie. I'll beat you to the station. Well, again, you get the head start, so of course you'll beat me, you blimey bastard. <laughs> so the station is back in Wedshurst. Oh. One last thing before we race, Maddie. See, I've got some great advice for you. <clears throat> you know how you sometimes see Pokemon wandering about in the tall grass, yeah? If you move real slow, like, and, and crouch down, those Pokemon won't pay you any notice. But on the other hand, if you whistle at them, you will be sure to catch their attention. If you're a bit rubbish with whistling, just remember this. Need a fail set for need a fail proof need a fail proof trick, press the left stick. And I'm just, like, press the left stick. My, my leg? My arm? What do you mean, Hop? <laughs> Try it out! And let's see who, uh, who can catch most Pokémon, Maddie. The, the thing is... You remember West... You remember West Her... Which Her Station, right? Where we met up... No, where we went to pick up Lee before. That'll be the goal. So, see you there! Okay, for a moment there, I was panicking that I hadn't started recording, but I definitely have. Also, sorry Hop, but we're not catching anything, because I will record stuff. So, our levels right now... Uh, 10 and 10. Okay. Hmm... Level 10, huh? We need to be careful not to over-level for... Let me just think... Uh, we can only reach level 20 before we get to the first team leader. And if I'm not wrong, it's fairly easy to overlevel at this point of the game. So, especially when you only have two Pokémon. So we need to take it, take it a bit careful here. Um, I do believe I... Oh yeah, we'll, we'll get a chance to get a Slowpoke soon enough. Thanks to the update for the game that makes it into... Um, oh into version 1.1.0. We'll get to that. Come on, Maddie. You'll never beat me to the station at that pace. He can run, he can run, and we can't run until he's done. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't need to heal anything. Um. <sighs> so, out with it, Maddie. How many did you catch? I caught a really special one. And you got... Not one! What were you doing this whole time? You're going to want a team if you're a trainer. Thanks, Hop. That's a technical machine. A team, mate. With a team like that, you can teach your Pokémon a new move in the Flash. And you can use them again and again, too. That one can teach uh, the move Switch. Swift. 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 I got ya. <laughs> Lee gave it to me ages ago, and now it's yours. Because I don't really care about gifts that he gives me, apparently. The gym challenge will uh, begin in Motorstoke, and our train's waiting, so let's go! <clears throat> yes, too, let's go.
Uh, parents. Not quite so fast, you two. Yeah, I have memory. What are you doing here, Mom? I knew this day was coming since the moment you chose Scalbany as your partner, darling. Professor Magnolia was kind enough to let us know that you two were setting out. So here, a little, uh, a last little gift to see you well set on your way. All the kit you'll need for camping. Yay. Camping gear. No matter what happens out there, if you and your partner um, are together, I know you'll be fine. Thanks, Mom. And just think how lucky you are. Mother to the first ever pair of champion brothers. Because I'm certain to become the champion next. You'll see. Of course you will be, darling. Anyway, do have fun and take care of yourselves. You'll be welcome ho back home anytime. And we'll be fine. Wish us luck. Wish us luck. Not that we'll need it. There are loads of brilliant trainers and all kinds of Pokemon out there waiting for us. My excitement's running ahead of me even faster than the train can go, Maddie. Come on, we're off. Bye, Mom. Ah, the train to freedom. No more tutorial, except for a few notes, but pretty much, kind of. I want his shoes. Motorstock is surrounded by a vast wild area. It's a real sight. There are all sorts of wild Pokemon just wandering about everywhere you look. Plus, you can camp out, do a spot of fishing. I don't think I could ever get tired of it. <sighs> hey. Um, nope. Hey. Mr. Station Master, isn't this the wild area? W what are we stopped here for? Yes, this is the wild area station, make no mistake. I'm sorry to tell you that the train is halted due to a flock of Wooloo on the tracks. What's there to be sorry about? This is brilliant! What is? This wild area is massive. There are loads of Pokemon to battle here. You can you get it, don't you, Manny? This is the best possible place to put together the greatest team. Well, off he goes. Uh, meanwhile, we'll be breaking the rules for just... No, actually, we'll come back here. We need to come back here anyway. <clears throat> oh, just one more cutscene. For now. <laughs> and then we'll have a bit of free time to roam around. Ooh, that's a purple... Ooh, that's a rare spawn. I'm tempted. The problem is the... The levels of the beams are, for one star, which is where we are right now, I believe the levels for the beams are 15 to 20. It's a gamble. I'll decide once I've come through this um, cutscene. Look at that. That's Motorstoke, way off that way. <clears throat> and between there and here are countless new Pokémon waiting to be met. Oh, hello, and if it isn't Sonia. My gran gave me a proper earful in her own way. Those two young trainers are setting out on a journey, but what are you doing with your life? It sounds rough. Uh, never mind, never you mind that. Nothing to worry yourselves over. Besides, I've been quite curious about that Pokemon you two met in the forest. I've been thinking I should look into it, so the timing works out fine. If I discover something really cute, then maybe even Growl will admit I've got some talent. Yikes, <laughs> being an adult has got its own challenges, eh? I said you needn't worry about it. I'm glad to be on the road. Really, it's been ages. It'll be great fun to fish and camp and rough it outside again. Well, I'm off to go stick my head in as many of those red glowing dens as I can find. I'm going to battle a snot out of a bunch of Dynamax Pokemon and fill it in another page. No, and fill in another page in the tail of my legend. Please come for me when I get stuck. <laughs> what cheek? Dynamax Pokemon are really on another level, you know. You'd better Dynamax your partner Pokemon too, if you want to take on opponents that strong. You'll find spots here and there in the wild that emit a red beam of light. 
If you think you're up for it, check them out. There'll be Dynamax Pokemon lur lurking inside. So with that, how about I send you off with a little treat from me? Ooh, the box link, yes! This just allows us to access our box anywhere. <clears throat> with the Pokemon box link, you'll be able to put Pokemon from your team into your boxes, or take Pokemon from your boxes to add them to your team. Nice, right? So, go while catching as many Pokemon as you can, uh, as you like, and fill in some more of the, your, your Pokedex. The wild area is waiting for you. This is the start of your real adventure. You know what? I can't pass up the opportunity. I'm going for that rare beam right there. <laughs> I might lose Rook D in the process, but I'm going for it. After I've done something else, I need to pick something up. <laughs> Actually, there are two things I need to do. First and foremost, I have Let's Go Eevee, so I'm gonna... Right, this is my alt account, which doesn't have a save file for this. Huh. Well, I need to play Let's Go Eevee then, because I, I want my, my, my Dynamax Eevee. I can't use it for this challenge, but I want it anyway, because when Pokemon Home becomes a thing. But in, uh, in more relevant news, I want to head back to West Wedgehurst Station, because there is a special event here now that we've patched the game. The train to the Isle of Armor has arrived. Those with the armor pass, please board the train. This is it. Okay. Do you have an armor pass? <laughs> of course, I totally have one. Please allow me to take your pass. Oh, a slowpoke! Uh-oh, looks like another one's gotten on the train and ridden over from the Isle of Armor. <laughs> You're a Pokemon trainer, right? If Slowpoke blocks a ticket gate, it'll cause trouble for our other customers. Slowpoke are actually pretty heavy, so do you think you can catch it for me? Uh, this is a Slowpoke on level 10, if I remember correctly. We will battle it, and I will catch it. I believe I still have my Rookity out first. Should be fine. It's not Dark type or anything. Also, I don't remember if Slowpoke, uh, the Galarian Slowpoke, even has anything. Ooh, Power Trip is super effective. This is good. That that does hardly any damage. How much defense does this Slowpoke have? And load my attack. This is attack. attack. Oh, God damn it! The use of Sharpness is close to boost his attack stat and accuracy. I'm gonna do that to try and even out the odds. There we go. My attack row, so it's back to normal. My accuracy. It's gonna keep lowering, lowering my low weight, isn't it? Uh. See, the thing is, this might be super effective, but this one has stab. Uh, both of them are fairly useless, I guess. Acid. Ooh, that hurts. Ooh, that hurts. Ooh, okay, that hurts. Uh, I'm gonna lower its defense a bit here. I just need to be careful not to lose anything in the process of this. Oh, you're gonna yawn me? You're gonna yawn me. No problem, I lower your defense a bit more. Because you can't remedy that. It tries to use yawn again, that's fine. We fall asleep. I believe that lasts for two rounds. Um, which is fine. That's the first. It tries to use yawn again. Please do keep doing that. There's another one. Oh, it woke up. Wait, it's a percentage chance of waking up, isn't it then? It's not a ton extra damage dealt, but it's it's better than before. <gasps> okay, I need to switch. Or heal, actually. I have healing items. <clears throat> no problem. Let's do a potion on, on Ed's worth here. And we'll get him back to full health. Confusion, right, you have that too. <gasps> oh! Oh! 
Um. Hmm. Um. Let, let's switch. Let's switch. Let's switch. Let's switch. That, that's. Hmm. 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 Maybe I should have leveled up a bit before I did this. That. That. Hmm. Oh, you're lowering my attack, but you know what, sucker? I ain't using attack. I'm using special attack. Yeah, keep growling me all you want. I should have done this from the start. Oh, I, I, I saw I saw Edsworth getting out of the team there for a moment. That was scary. Okay, it's in red. All I needed. Now, there is a problem. We are underleveled, and thanks to that, it will be harder to catch this. But we have a great ball that we've got outside of the professor's house, so we're going to throw that. And hope for the best. One. God dang it. Okay, as long as it just keeps using Growling Yawn, we don't have a problem. As soon as it starts doing other things, we have a problem. Um, all of these are from the event. I only have the Pokeballs, really. <laughs> Throw that. Duke, please. No, 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 not confusing, that hurts. Okay, it hurts nine. Asahina can survive this. Asahina can survive this, okay. No panic. No panic. Throw another ball. Please, please, Slowpoke. Please. Please. E. Oh, thank you. <sighs> okay. I'm starting to feel the pressure of the Nuzlocke. <laughs> I... Ooh, Edsworth, I'm so sorry, that was too close. Okay, so what are we calling female Slowpoke? She's slow... Female. Ha! If anyone remembers uh, Asomanka Dayo, really old... Um, really old anime. I believe one of the characters is called Osaka, and she's really slow and just really, really slow character. That'll be her. I know, I'm a weeb. I'll do all the, the anime references right now. <clears throat> Thanks so much. Slowpoke can be big trouble to move sometimes. Wow, amazing! The way you caught that Slowpoke was the absolute coolest. We apologize for the wait. We have to uh, we have checked your armor pass. All about the train to the Isle of Armor. Mind your step when boarding. Please be aware that there will be a connection along the way. Okay. <laughs> I'm heading to the place called the Isle of Armor. I'm gonna catch some rare Pokemon and do some training. Let's hang if you meet if we meet up again, okay? Bye bye. Then see ya. I'm sorry for that sickening sweet voice. I do not. I'll, I had to do something, I guess. Anyway. Whoo. Tense. Okay, the first thing first. Move. Oh, actually, let's heal while we're at it. Which menu option am I lacking? Probably something I'll get later. <coughs> oh yeah, my, my lead card. I don't have my lead card yet. Of course, because we haven't been to the ceremony yet. Hmm. Anyway, we'll just be healing up our poke. I could technically just have gone to the wild area again. Why am I doing this? This is the slowest way possible. Whoops. Doesn't matter, we'll do it. I healed Pokemon. And uh, then we'll go back to abiding by the rules of not having a bigger team than, uh, than we're allowed to. And we'll head out. And I will be going for that purple beam because I'm curious what's in it. And I, 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 I'm I, willing to gamble, as already shown. The only problem is that I'm underleveled, so I'm a bit worried about not being able to catch it. But we'll see what happens, I suppose. Ooh, I'm a bit scared of losing Rookedy. Should I do this? Should I do this? I really shouldn't. What's our level? 11. Uh, hmm. I have 
healing items? Um, 20. 30. Oh, I should not be doing this, but I'm doing it anyway. I'm heading for the beam. The beam will be my Pokemon for, um, what is this? Roaning Fields, I believe it is. I did not read the uh, sign when it showed up. <laughs> we'll be grabbing a few. Oh, we'll be grabbing this note that doesn't matter because it's tutorial stuff. Uh, the Onyx doesn't count beca because he's too high level for us to even uh, cats in the first place, so I can ignore him. Even if I picked an Overworld Sprite. We'll be grabbing a few berries just to make sure that we have something for extra. Extra just in case. Um, we're getting a good amount of berries from this tree. Yeah, but this is where we stop. So eight berries, not bad. Hopefully some of those are healing berries. I should so not be doing this. But I, I called it and I'm doing it. This is... Wait, isn't that just Rookie D again? No, it's a different bird, isn't it? Which bird is that? If this isn't Rookie D, then... hmm... I don't need more birds on my team, but... Oh, it's Pido. Pido. Right. Wow. That that's that's a that's a terrible one to get. To be honest, I really didn't want that. Hmm. Well, this is a bit ballsy of me to do right off the bat, but we'll do it anyway. Uh, this deals a lot of damage. Worst case, we have max guard to to try and just bail. So um, I don't think I mentioned this. If my Pokemon does get fainted in this battle. It dies. Even even though I can continue to use it throughout this raid battle, it dies afterwards. Oh, that's loud. So, um, this is really ballsy of me. Max Strike. Okay, it goes for the... Okay, not good. Not good. If it if it flees, if we fail this, uh, this den, then, then I also lose the Pokemon of this route. So I need for the rest of the NPCs to not faint while I take out this bastard. That is not as much damage as I had hoped it would deal. Um, if this fails spectacularly, I just uh, let's just say that this was my way of ooh, that's good. Um, let's just say that this was my way of showing what not to do in a Nostalgic. <laughs> Helping hand. Oh, that's good. Quick, quick attack? Really? Ooh, that deals a lot of damage compared to what I expected. Thankfully not to Edsworth. I can lose all the other Pokemon that I want to. And the NPCs don't count. They're just here. As long as, as, long as Edsworth doesn't get hit. Flamethrower did a lot of... Oh, we can do this. Oh, we can so do this. I wonder if Vern carries over to the catching phase. Because if it does, that should help me catch it easier. But I don't know if it does. I really have no idea if this was a good... This was probably not a good idea. Does it get taken out before I can even attack? Mm. <clears throat> yes, it does. Thank you, Eevee. Okay, so it's definitely possible to do the raids. Even at this level. I still only have my Pokeballs because everything else is off-limits at the moment. Because I got them through events and can only use them after Milo. Okay. Please stay in the bowl. I might not like you, but I at the very least want something from this route. One. Two. Three. Okay, we got it. So that's another uh, addition to the team right there. So I know that Vox said that it's absolutely stupid to go for the dance, but I, I think this... I had a feeling that it might not be, and I think this kind of proves it. A female bird, female flying rat. Oh dear, um, I have no clue what to name you. We'll name you... Uh, female flying rat. 
Damn. Um. I'm just. I'm a bit. Hmm. I did not. <laughs> hmm. I had not considered this this situation. Um. I guess I'll just pick a random name. Female flying rat. Well, technically not rat, it's a bird, but you know. The pigeons are basically rats who wings. Um <laughs> I know what to do. Um Wait, what is he calling it? No, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Because I just forgot entirely again. Um, is there a character I'm not too fond of? I I really have no idea what to call this one. We'll call it. Um, we'll call it. Sabrina? Just to give it a name because I'm honestly at a loss. But hey, it's a name. Well, that's my cats for this route. I think... Um, I don't actually remember if I'm allowed to just run through the next route without calling what to do. I think I am. I believe... Let me just look. I believe Vox did that. Which means that I should be allowed to do that. Because the next route starts over here somewhere. Anytime now. Another note, really. Yes, I know I can rotate the camera. I know that was like a big thing for, uh, for this generation, but still. Okay, we're still in the same route. I'm just doing this to gather some vat vat vats because we're allowed to use those. And to see what I could have otherwise gotten. Hoot hoot. I think I would have preferred that, but can't really do anything about it now, can I? Uh, the route scenery should... Ooh, what's that? A tiny mushroom. That sells for money. That's good. East Lake Ax Axwell. So I can tell already from looking right here on my sheet that Vox did not catch anything here and there is no way to go here without seeing stuff. So I'm just going to be like, I'm not catching anything at the moment. Just like she was. Which means I can just run through, right? I'm assuming that's how it works, because otherwise I'm kind of confused how Vox managed to get through here without catching anything. <clears throat> I just realized I should not check the den. So I'm not checking the den. <laughs> well, I've still said that I'm not catching anything, right? So it counts. That just means that if that had been something I wanted, I could not get it right now. Because I have set my... I have set and I'm set... Uh, I have set, set, and I am dead set on not catching anything this trip through. I'm just passing through. So I just gather the warts, nothing else. Ooh, I hope, I really hope that's how it works for our rules, because I didn't write anything like that down in our rule set, but I can see Vox didn't catch anything here. I have a, a spreadsheet where we keep track of it. And I cannot for the life of me see how else... Fox would have gotten to Motorstoke without encountering anything. That's just not possible as far as I know. <clears throat> I'll need to check the town map real quick to make sure of that. Meanwhile, just enjoy the visuals, I guess. Please don't have an NPC talk right here. Good. Okay, let me just double check. It... Yeah, it's literally impossible to get to Motorstoke without going through somewhere with grass here in East Lake Axwell. So I'm gonna have to assume we are allowed to just say we're not catching anything for the moment and just go through. Fascinating. I'll have to double check with Vox about that later. I'll, I won't be going back to the... To the, um, what's it called? Wild area until next time anyway. So I'll, I'll clear the rules with that. And if that is not allowed, well then... We'll just have to do that in the future. Hey, over here! 
That was an obnoxious version of that voice, my apologies. Real ace of you to make it through the wild area. Seems like your Trek ran uh, your Pokemon racket though. You should pop into the Pokemon Center. Besides, there's something in there I bet you'll get a kick out of. If you're a real trainer and all. Okay, what? <laughs> Oh, it looks like the Rotomi is free. Rotomi are kind of Rotom information service. It's a handy machine for trainers. You can even use it once to customize your league card. Why don't you try to play around with your league card a bit, Maddie? Here's a sample for you. I don't want Leon's league card. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But Murdoch sure is big, right? Not to worry, Sonya's here to show you around a bit. Come find me after you heal your Pokemon. The opening ceremony, huh? I get a bit worked up when I think about how exciting and moving it was to actually stand on a stadium's pits for the first time. I kind of wish that be DLC we can play the past just to see that, or at least, I don't know, some small anime clips, something. Even animated would be fine. It doesn't need to be anime. It could be um, video. Uh, what is it called? Video game quality. No, I'm not supposed to go in here. Wrong button. There we go. Now we have a lead card. But, so stop breaking the rules because I forgot about that. Um, thankfully, we didn't <laughs> encounter anything meanwhile, but there we go. Off the team with you. The next thing we're doing is I'm going to head over and um, change my hairstyle. <sighs> right. So, brilliant young trainer who has braved the wild area. Do you remember what your goal in Modestoke is? I'm here for the gym challenge, obviously. Yep, the gym challenge opening ceremony. The trains are purple, I just realized. <laughs> <clears throat> By the way, the ceremony tomorrow is being held at the Motorstoke Stadium, okay? Use that lift over there to get to the stadium, okay? Well, laters. I'm going to swing by the shops while I'm here, but don't forget to register at the stadium, okay? Awkward silence as we see walks away. Anyway, let's grab some free items real quick first. There's one over here in the bin, just a Pokeball. And there's a Nocket, of all things, over here on the other side if I'm allowed to go this way yet. Which is good money. Right here. There we go. And I guess we'll just sell a few items before we head over and start buying some some visual aids, I guess we would call it. Some customization of our avatar. So we're getting rid of the revive because we're not allowed to use I'm out. Allowed to use that anyway. Just keeping the balls but not using them. Poke, the poker doll could be so useful. I have the berries that I'm definitely not gonna throw away. I'm gonna keep Probably gonna keep all of this just in case. Gonna keep all these, of course. I believe um, the honey is not used for anything. Bottle cap is just from the event as well. Don't worry about that. We're not gonna be using that at all. And we sold all the treasures. And none of the <laughs> this cannot be sold, but I just want to remove all the news markers. So that should give us a bit of money to work with. I think we're gonna go and do our hair and makeup first. It will probably rem no. I'll I'll pick something where it doesn't remove my my hat. <laughs> oh, wow! I went to the wrong store. My bad. I'm so used to heading there for the clothing. So <laughs> this will be the last thing we do this episode, and then uh, we'll continue afterwards. We'll start by the by doing the hair. It's expensive, but we have a good amount of money, so it's fine. Um, I'm probably going with medium curls because I usually go with that one. And it's also almost what I have in real life right now, actually. Long and straight? No. <laughs> the Wooloo cut. Now we're going with the medium curls. Um. I kind of wish this one... I kind of wish they had one where it, it like, splits in the center. 
like this, but the the one the one piece of hair on the left would be going to the left instead of on the right uh, towards the right. That hmm. Uh, we're going with this, and for hair color, wine red. Isn't it? That looks purple to me. Am I colorblind? <laughs> I might be. We're gonna go with a red. Again, because I have that in real life right now, so... Also because this is a combination I've never used. Um, I'm gonna do that. Yes, this is good. This is good. We'll, we'll take that. Then we'll do the makeup, because that includes um, changing my eye color to, well, what I have. Although I guess it counts as contacts in this game, but eh, who cares. So, we can't even see the eyebrows, it doesn't matter, but I'll... Actually, they are still dark brown, so it's fine. Um, I wonder if I want this... Hmm. I'm wondering if the bag, the bangs are what I want after all. Where's the... Is there really only... Oh, whoa, okay, that's... that's. We'll take that. Uh, what is this? Oh, lipstick, right. I will go for... A red. My eyes don't seem to match, do they? I mean, we could go with just a completely different... Ooh. Lavender eyes looks nice. I think we're going purple, actually. Haven't done this. This combination is wild for me. <laughs> there we go. I like this. Uh, yeah, sure. Reprint my card. We'll be customizing that later anyway. Oh, the, the, the red goes really well with purple, actually. Maybe I should switch up the, the trousers so that they're not pink anymore. But red instead. That might actually work really well. Uh, what trousers do they have here? Only really expensive ones. Oh, they have skirts, though. That's really cute. I feel like I've worn some longer socks with that, though. Um, do they have any better jackets? Oh, I quite like this, actually. It doesn't... It, it, I feel like I need to go back and switch out the trousers, though. <laughs> Let's be honest. Um, if I remember correctly, there's nothing much I really care about in this place. So I think we're just heading onwards. Yeah, I'm done shopping. Um, I know this is... Uh, I don't like doing this. I, I need to go back and change my trousers because I want them red now to, to match my, my hair. <laughs> And I know it's a bit of a long trek, but we can talk a bit in the meantime. Um, so, next up is the opening ceremony, followed by a battle in the hotel. And then on... <sighs> I forgot it turns the camera for you. <laughs> so I was just holding down there. Which sent me back into Motorstoke. So, another loading scene. I know that we get the ability to fly, you know, the, the flight taxi thing later, well, really soon, but it's just, mm, it doesn't feel like it's close enough yet. We're still going by, I'm not catching anything on this route, just to know it, so even if I see anything, I will not catch it. I will save my cats for later. I'll, I'll, I guess I should state that every time I arrive here, just to make sure that to comply with the rules. I'm not catching anything. I'm going straight through regardless of, regardless of what I see. Yes. I think that's how we're supposed to apply that rule. Either that, either that or you'd have to be forced to catch it something when you enter the route. I don't remember what the official Nuzlocke rules are. Do you have to catch the first thing you encounter? You do. But what if I'm avoiding the encounters? Do I then have to... Oh, and the dance are a bit of a... Hmm, I probably shouldn't have checked that dance, should I? Then again, I should be allowed to check the dance for the watts if I've just declared that I'm not going to do it. Or do anything for that round, right? 
You know what? I'm just gonna say I'm not doing any dents for that route specifically because that way I have definitely not broken the rule. There is something else we are allowed to do, and that is to check these guys and see if they have anything interesting to spend our watts on. What I'm looking specifically for are our quick balls, because if we can find quick balls, it's gonna make it so much easier for us to catch Pokemon um, on our Nuzlocke run. Because we won't have to worry as, as much about things like being underleveled and that affirming, affirming? affecting um, our cat's rate. But it wasn't him. And technically, I would probably be well off doing a quick run around the wild there and see if I can find the one that does have them. But at the same time, I don't want to bend the rules more than possible in regards to just saying, hey, I'm not catching anything here while we haven't clarified whether or not that's allowed yet. This works so much better. I'm doing that. Thank you very much. I really like this red-purple thing, actually. It's, it's an interesting combination I haven't used before. So, um, you know what I'm gonna do? No. I'm gonna I'm gonna take us all the way back to Motorstoke. We're gonna do our leak card, so this is gonna be a bit longer than an hour this time, it's fine. And once we've done our leak card, we're gonna end this episode. <clears throat> yeah, I think that should be about right, right? That also gives me a moment to breathe <clears throat> and get my voice back. And we're not that far away from being where I need to be. We have like a route, a route, a mine, and another route, and then I'll be at Milo's place, which is where I need to be to be, have been able to catch up with Vox. And once I've caught up with Vox, the episode after that will be interesting in that I am going to have a battle with Vox live on stream, on her stream. Meanwhile, I'll be recording my own footage for that, from that stream my side of it, which I will be putting in my episode. So I guess if you watch her stream, you will get a spoiler as to how the outcome is, but I mean, we'll, we'll both be on chat, so there'll be trash talking and stuff, I guess. And bluffing. There could be bluffing involved. You never know. Anyway, I forgot to say, I'm not catching anything on this route while I'm going through this time either. Just clarifying. I really need to clarify that with June or figure that out, because I... Not June. Vox mixing up names here um, because I, I I can't see a way that Vox was able to get through there without seeing something so it has to have been like you're allowed to do that right just quick balls how many can I get I can get 17 I'm getting 17 worth it well worth it in fact okay this is still the same route right I am not catching anything regardless of what this is another bird wow I'm, I'm, I'm glad that uh, that I'm not catching anything here at the moment. <laughs> I'm also just not catching the dents on this route specifically. There we go. 23 quick balls this early in the game is not bad. I feel like I should actually really get more. But at the same time, I really don't want to push my luck in regards to that rule specifically. I think that's going to be it. It's not bad, we can always find him later. He'll have moved to a different um, area in the wild area. But that'll be fine. It's not like he's gone. <laughs> so last thing for this episode, let's do our leak card and have a bit of fun with it. Unfortunately, we are a bit limited in regards to backgrounds and poses and stuff like that from the start, but we're gonna, um, we're gonna have fun nonetheless. So, use the card maker. Make a new card. We have a very limited amount of things we can pick from. Um, and I really don't like any of them because most of them feel like they're way too busy. I guess we'll do our hometown for now. Do we want any effect? Not really. Do we want a frame? We can do a frame. We'll do this one. Next step, um, let's move us a bit down and zoom us a bit in so we get closer to the cart. That's maybe a bit much. No, it's fine. Uh, change the expression. What do we want? We want something funny. 
Something funny? Or do we want something confident? Maybe we should go something confident. We can't tell how confident I am because of my, my freaking hair is hiding my eyebrows. Hmm. Um... What to do, what to do? I guess it's all in the mouth and the eyes, huh? Oh, I tell you can kind of tell the eyebrows in this one. Oh, you can kind of tell. It'll just be this, I guess. Oh, whoops. <laughs> As for pose... Um... Hmm, hmm, hmm. This one, maybe? I don't think I've ever used this one. It's kind of... I'm off to new adventures. Uh, zoom a bit... No, not... Ah. The controls of this are not that... Um, intuitive. I think this will be it. For the time being. Will we give it a clear coating or a matte coating? We'll give it a matte coating. And print! I know we don't even have our our trainer number yet or anything, but this will have to do. That's our leak card, right there, and uh, that'll have to do for this episode. Thank you very much for watching, everyone, and um, I hope I will see you next time where we'll be doing the ceremony and work our way towards the first team. This takes a while, I know, but this game is long, and with voice acting on top of that, it's extra long. But thank you for watching. If you have watched so far, I um, hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, take care.